We are joined today by Dr. Calpana Di Pasquale. Dr. Calpana Di Pasquale. He is the founder and physician at Avanti Medical Spa. Dr. Calpana Di Pasquale. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. I love it because this is the time where you really need to go through and get rid of some stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And one of the big things that I would say, and this is going to surprise everybody, the big thing you need to get rid of in your bathroom is soap. Really? Why? <laughs> That's what you need to be clean. You got one. You right. got one right. That is fiction. So lately, you know, we've seen a trend change in the younger women and men. They're getting this more as they start to see things appear so things don't get so, so bad before they want to address them. So there's definitely a, a shift going on in the world today. Yeah, kind of preventative kind Absolutely. of thing. Absolutely. The great thing about starting early is often you don't have to have as much done. You know, I mean, obviously, if you wait 30 more years, then more things need to be done at one time. So a little lift is very possible if you kind of intervene early. Yes, what you want to use instead would be a nice pH balanced body wash and look for ones without a whole lot of chemicals, ones that have more natural ingredients. Cool. All right. What else do you need to get rid of? So your lotion. So after you get out of the shower, you mm -hmm. lathered up with soap. You're so totally dry and then you're slathering your body on with lotion. Mm -hmm. Lotions have all kinds of bad chemicals. Number one would be aluminum. It clogs your pores. Petroleum, which is a byproduct of the distillation of gasoline, so that can't be good. No. And right also now. alkylamides, which are toxic chemicals that are used to kind of thicken the lotion. On the label, you'll see them as M-E-A, D-E-A, T-E-A. If you don't know what it means, yeah. don't, don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny is that as women get older, typically they feel much more confident, you know, as opposed to in your younger years, in your 20s, you may not be as confident about yourself. You get older, you get, you get established in your career, you've, you know, raised some children, married, whatever the case is, you feel better about yourself. But then stuff starts to happen to your face. Your mouth starts to downturn. You lose volume in your cheeks, you lose volume around your eyes, you start getting wrinkles, whatever the case may be, all of a sudden that makes women look unapproachable, unfriendly, and often they feel misrepresented and misunderstood. What happens is when we lose volume in our cheek area, it flattens our appearance and it makes our face go from more of an oval, attractive shape to a little more of a square, flat shape. And by lifting the cheek area, not only can we add that three-dimensional youthful balance back to your face, it also helps rejuvenate the eye area and also helps take pressure off this area rejuvenating that now depending on how how severe this area is you may or may not have to have additional filler injected it's hard to say but if it's mild very likely this will help that area and I think you know a lot of times what people will do is they'll go on the internet they'll start searching a myriad of symptoms and the problem is that the symptom checkers are not very accurate they're only accurate about 34 percent of the time and then the patient will come in and say oh this is exactly what I have I think it's okay to be aware of the possibilities of what you've got, but not depend on Dr. Google for your exact diagnosis. And it causes worry. Can it Can't really assume that, but there is a genetic predisposition to acne. But the other factors can also be obviously hormonal, which is a big issue amongst our adolescents. And sometimes it could be the products that you're using.